All right, what's up everybody? Ed here, Metro Lineup Martial Arts. I've got Gabriel Varga on the channel. So real quick, um, I want you to give a little bit of your background, but give you why I I'm so excited to have him on the channel. One of my students actually sent me your channel and was like, oh man, this guy, I follow all his tips. I want to go, this, this guy, my student, he wants to be a champ. And I was like, oh, okay, I'll watch some of it. And I've always just loved like your take on it, your mindset and stuff. So tell my audience a little bit about yourself and then we'll kind of go from there. So I started karate when I was about seven years old under my dad. Uh, he very quickly realized that our skill level, my brother and I, we were both doing martial arts, was building very fast. So we went, my goal as a father is to find you the best coaches you can. We trained and trained and trained, did lots of karate tournaments until we were about 14 or 15. We transitioned to kickboxing. Both my brother and I went up through the ranks. Uh, my brother was undefeated, but he decided, you know what, I gotta go the school route. He's in uh, med school now. Ooh, awesome. And I decided I'm gonna go the competition route. Won a couple of amateur world titles, uh, transitioned to pro. Mm. Uh, won all my first fights, and then as I went up and up, I got to fight for glory. Bellator won the titles there. Uh, I've ended up at Karate Combat now, mm -hmm. and uh, overall I have uh, seven, I think it's seven pro, seven pro world titles. Wow. So uh, one thing I thought was really interesting is uh, you're 37, I'm 37, and I wanted to talk about where your mindset's at as a 37-year-old competing mm -hmm. at the highest level that you're competing at now. You know, former champion, like, I, are you former champion? You're still the champion. I'm technically a former champ now yeah, because okay. uh, Bellator dissolved their kickboxing. Oh, so there's so no... I never lost it. Well, but there you go. I'm, I'm still former. Still, still former. Okay. Former. Well, yeah, just, just call that. Okay. Well, cool. So what is your, like, what is your mindset at as this going into karate combat? Like, like where is it? Like, preservation-wise, we're yeah. getting older, things recovery. Re Recovery's been a big one. I noticed that in my late 20s, mm. my body was starting to break down just from the overtraining, right? Mm. Not taking breaks, overtraining. It wasn't so much that I was getting older, yeah. just I was pushing too hard. Oh. So now what I've learned to do is I go, okay, when fight camp starts, I go crazy hard. Right. I train like a maniac. And then outside of it, I kind of do like a 50, 60% thing. Oh, okay. So that my body has time to recover. Mm. So now I'm 37, mm -hmm. I have less injuries than I did when I was 27. Oh, wow. And for my last karate combat fight, they said, oh, you're 37, you're going against a 26 year old. Are you worried? Yeah. I said, guys, I'm in better shape <laughs> than I've ever been. Right. Like, there's nothing like 37, what, you make that sound like I'm old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I'm in the prime shape of my life. Right. So I'm not worried about that at all. When will I retire? Yeah. Feel it out, fight by oh. fight. That's you know, awesome. I might go for another five years, I might go for another two fights. Right. See how I feel. Yeah, and there's so many other ways to take care of your body, which in mm -hmm. my 20s I didn't worry about. I went, the only way to win the fight is to train harder mm -hmm. than my opponent. Now I go, I gotta train harder, but I also gotta train smart. Yeah. So what are the recovery methods? You know, mm -hmm. you're using the cold therapy. Oh yeah. Uh, I have red light therapy. I have all the supplements I'm on, which in my last fight is like, holy smokes, my body feels amazing. Oh wow. It's recovering. I don't have the lactic acid buildup and the normal, normal pain every mm -hmm. morning when I wake up. So just being smarter made a world of difference for me at, at this age. Yeah. Wow, that's really cool. And then I guess the last thing I kind of want to touch on, right, is that uh, when you were coming up and, and starting to win some titles and things like that, when you first started um, going that route, what was it like competitive? Like where was your mindset at in terms of like, because like they always talk about like, you know, if you watch like um, – like the Michael Jordans, and they, you know, they kind of make they make it personal, even when it's not personal. What what was your like competitive spirit like, and then what is it like now? Yeah, I've always had. I'm a little different than those guys, right? Yeah. I've never had people say no, like Michael Jordan. No, you can't succeed. Mm -hmm. I've always had good support, good mm -hmm. support system. I was lucky. Yeah. In that sense, but for a lot of people, they go, "Oh, did you know you were going to be a world champion?" Mm -hmm. I had no idea. Yeah. I just went. I want to win an amateur Canadian title, mm -hmm. and then I did that. I'm like. I might as well try for a North American one. Mm -hmm. And then I won that. I went, oh, while I'm here, I might as well do an amateur. And then I went, I want one pro fight. Yeah. Had my one pro fight. I went, you know what? I think I want to get into K1 or oh. Glory. Mm -hmm. Just one fight. Yeah. And I kept just telling just little, little goals. Oh. I never had the big goal. Yeah. There's always little steps, little steps, little steps. And I still, I don't have any massive goals in the future aside mm -hmm. from win the next fight. Yeah. And the one after that, probably a karate combat title. Don't, yeah. look, don't look beyond it. Right. And yeah, I mean, that, that's what worked for me. It might not work for everybody else. Right. But you have to find your own, your own way to mm -hmm. create inspiration, right? Because what works for me won't work for you. And it's not just for how you're going to succeed in life. It's, yeah. It can also just be 
technically. Like yeah. you have a coach who can do a kick a certain way. Mm -hmm. You're like, oh, it doesn't feel right. Yeah. Well, maybe it's not right for you. Right. Maybe you have to change things up. Oh man. So yeah, I mean, the best advice that I have for somebody who wants to be a pro fighter is just make sure that you don't cut corners. That's it. Yeah. You know, if you're like, oh, I'm gonna be a pro fighter, but on the weekends I'm gonna, you know, slack off and yeah. and I'm gonna drink beer and eat pizza every weekend. Yeah, and my life. I'm like, yeah, then that's probably not for you. You do have to buckle down. I'm out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody else is Mike like, no, is I'm out. Okay. Yeah. yeah. There is some. There is some. Some. Uh, dedication sure that's required and not everybody yeah. has that no and, and it's fine that's that was what I was kind of wanting to know is like you know uh, I was testing for my Brazilian Jiu Jitsu brown belt a couple weekends ago and I was so hyper focused on it like my diet was right I was training a lot I had that like the little goal in front of me it was only like two or three weeks away it wasn't like or maybe like a couple months but it wasn't like you know like oh in like 10 years I'm gonna do that so it was able to like really hunker down and then I got it and I was like oh man now I can relax and then I find myself like two to three days in of relaxing, I was like, I need a new goal. Because yeah. like, I was like already like eating all the pizza. But um, I want to touch on one last thing that you said, and I loved it. It's kind of the Jeet Kune Do concept philosophy of absorb what's useful and discard what's useless. So if you see somebody like, I can't really do that kick. What? I said, is that a thing? Bro, they try, to, know, hey, they, try to make, they try to make, they try to make, everything is Jeet Kune Do. Yeah, Every smart thing that anybody says is kind of like a Jeet Kune Do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah Bro, y'all like can't everything. have everything. It's like everything is karate. Hey, yeah. you can't have everything. Yeah. We're going to take it. I'm going to, I have to, we have to make it popular somehow. All right, well, thank you so much. I really appreciate oh, yeah, yeah, it. The one more. Do you want to absorb? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Absorb yeah, the, yeah. Uh, absorb creation. what's useful, discard what's useless, yes. and then you kind of add your own flair to it, right? And that's creating your own style. Yes. And that's exactly so. Everybody, you have to create your own style. Nobody yeah. can watch my channel and be like, I'm going to be Gabriel. Yeah. Or they watch, you know, fight tips. I'm going to be Shane. I want to mm -hmm. move exactly like him. No, it doesn't work like that. Yeah. Try all the different styles, take the pieces, mm -hmm. and then create your own style, and that's when you're going to be your best version. That's perfect. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Gabriel. I really appreciate you, sir. Thank you, guys. Uh, do the thing that you're supposed to do at the end of videos. Yeah. <laughs> and Absorb the like button. <laughs> Discard what is a negative comment. <laughs>